I'm here with a co-worker and uh, uh, I wanted to ask him about his sighting that he had in B County. Uh, this happened, uh, when did this happen? Uh, about two years ago, maybe. Okay. Two and a half years ago. Alright, can you uh, start from the beginning about what you had seen? Or? Yeah, me and, my, me and my girlfriend were sitting outside one night and uh, we were just sitting outside talking and something caught my eye. Um, I turned to the right and I saw it. it was crawling on all fours. It was maybe about on all fours. It was probably about three and a half, three and a half feet tall on all fours crawling. Kind of looked like it was kind of trying to sneak by. When I saw it, I mean, it was bigger than a pig. So I, my reaction was, "What was that?" Immediately, "What was that?" And I yelled it out to my girlfriend. Well, when I yelled it out, he stood up and it stood up to be maybe about seven, seven and a half feet tall, and it passed up the side of my house. So I ran in through the front door and ran out the back door to try to see what it was. By the time I got out the back door, which is probably about maybe 15 feet away from the front door, by the time I got to the back door, it was already gone. But like, in a matter of maybe 10 seconds, gone. And it, it was dark. It, time. Was, it was dark, yeah. The only thing that was that was um, shining on was that moonlight. It was a clear night, so, so the moonlight was pretty bright. Okay. But, it, but whenever I saw it, it was like from here to maybe that ditch. About a, that's about as far as where it was from us. Okay, I see. So you, it, it it was crawling by the house, and then you yelled something, or or what'd you say? What 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 is that? Or yeah, and uh, then it I, stood up. Yeah, because my it was it was more like I was shocked because it was so big, crawling. I had never seen anything that big crawling on all fours, you know, not even a, a hog, a big hog, a wild hog, it was, it was big, you know, it was maybe, maybe to the top of the fence line right here. Was the, the crawling? Of, yeah, crawling. Yeah. yeah that, you know, right where that white sign is at, that's, yeah. how, that's how big it was yeah, on that, all fours. Yeah, that, that fence probably maybe, it looks real short, that fence there, it's shorter than normal, it looks like three and a half foot maybe? Yeah, about three and a half, maybe. Yeah, it's shorter there. But as soon as I said that, we both looked and it stood up and passed the house. No, no sound, no smell. No sound, no nothing. Just stood up normal and took off walking. And where about in Beaver? I was. It was a place called Blueberry Hill. Okay. Yeah, there's been a, a sighting there. Uh, I think a couple of years ago, I had talked with a guy and uh, he had seen uh, something out there so you're not the only one that's seen one there but that's good that you saw that uh do you believe it was a bigfoot i believe it was something like it yeah yeah okay. i really do Cause like i said why I, I, not I, I kind of you know just out of reaction ran out the back to try to see if i could see what it was clearly and i never thought about to go to the side of the house to see if it was there or to see if i could see any footprints or nothing like that i was just i was shocked by how big it was it, i just didn't think think too clear i just wanted to see what it was to yeah. make sure i wasn't seeing things yeah and then after that you've never heard anything or, or any screams or anything like that i never heard him? any i never heard any screams but dogs were always always barking with, with nothing passing by mm -hmm. like no other dogs would be passing by no uh horses cause people got horses out there no horses would be passing by it would be quiet like dead quiet and all of a sudden dogs would just start going crazy hmm. That's crazy. I mean, these animals are, are like coming up to houses and stuff like that. I'm guessing that they're trying to to eat scraps and, and get food that's a lot easier than than what they're trying that they normally get. You know, it's to me that's what I believe in. I mean, that's why there's a lot more sightings and encounters that are coming to the houses and stuff like that. That's that's what that's my belief. Yeah. But of course, you know, I'm pretty sure they do their regular hunting and stuff, but. Uh, Still, I think they try to get the easier food they, when they can get it. But anyways, it's uh, my little interview with uh, my co-worker out of B County there. Thanks.